This podcast is part of the Shareable Podcast Network. Learn more at shareable.fm. This is a shareable mini episode where I ask the guest 10 important big questions, and they have to answer them as fast as they possibly can. I call it Think Fast. Welcome back to Think Fast. My name is Jeff Gibbard, and today with me on Think Fast is AJ Wilcox. AJ, are you ready to be asked 10 rapid fire questions to be answered as quickly as you possibly can? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Here we go. <laughs> what, is, what book should everyone read next? Ooh, uh, I, I think Influence by Robert Cialdini. It's been a game changer. It's not new. Yep. It's wonderful. Yep. Excellent one. What's your favorite podcast? And as much as you want to, you can't say shareable. Ooh, uh, I think it's the Jordan Harbinger show. Uh, if you listen to that one, he's amazing. And I'm, I'm big on like self-improvement. Yeah, absolutely. He's great. Okay. What negative experience in your life are you most happy that it happened to you? Ooh, uh, the whole reason I started my company is because I got fired at my last company. I never had the guts to, to go out on my own if it weren't for that nice kick in the butt out the door. So grateful for that. Excellent. Similar to my story. When I started my agency, I, I had just been fired. Uh, what's a lesson that you wish that you had learned earlier in life? Oh, to delegate. Uh, from the very, very beginning, you know, this business is my baby. So I wanted to do everything and being able to let go and uh, actually let someone else do something was really difficult for me. But by the time now, I'm so glad I did. Excellent. Okay. What is the most important skill of the future? Just so you know, the most common answer is empathy, which you can say also, but you can also go a different route and say a different one. What's the most important skill of the future? All right. So I, I'm going to be a deviant here and, and say it's data science, um, especially in my world of marketing. So many people approach it from a creative standpoint, but those who approach with data and the ability to predict, uh, they're the ones who are going to have the most success. Excellent. So I think that leads into this next question, but what industry or career path do you think has the most promising future or potential? Oh, I think marketing is incredible, especially digital marketing. Uh, while so many other industries are, are affected by you know, market fluctuations and uh, you know, pandemics that come through, it was interesting to see some specialized agencies um, you know, got left behind. Like if you catered just to travel during COVID, like chances are you lost all your clients. Uh, but others who were catering to retail did really well. And so marketing as an industry was still employing people, was still hiring, and there wasn't nearly as many layoffs as I expected. Dig it. Okay. What's one thing that everybody listening to this episode should go and do today? Ooh, uh, I, I think this is going to kind of feed into, you know, both your and my model, but it's like, you've got to you've got to keep learning. You've got to keep growing. So the one thing you can do is go pick some highly recommended audio book or some podcast where you're going to learn something and just start listening. I, I guarantee you're going to want to keep going. Excellent. If you could have any one superpower, what would it be? Ooh, uh, man, I, I can't say invisibility here because people are going to think I'm a pervert. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think it would be flying. I, I absolutely love the concept of flying and, um, especially flying at fast speed. Okay, right on. Now, related to that, what would you sacrifice to have that superpower? Ooh. Uh, you know, I, I recently had, a, had knee surgery and I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a big time like athlete. I love endurance sports. I love pushing myself. And after the knee surgery, the, the surgeon basically told me like, Hey, you used to call yourself a runner. You're not anymore. And so, I, I, uh, if I could fly, I would give up. Um, you know, running, sprinting, hiking. I, I would be able to fly there. <laughs> and that makes that sense. Would be giving up a lot. That's like uh, if I got a car, I would give up walking. Um, yeah. Okay, final final question. This is the big one. Uh, it's one the the final question, which is uh, I don't know if you've seen Avengers Endgame. Um, you have. Okay, good. Yeah. So the, the premise of the question, I don't need to explain it to you then. So I have the infinity gauntlet in my possession. It has all six infinity stones in it. The wearer of the infinity gauntlet could simply snap their fingers and mold and manipulate time, space, reality to their whim. Anything that they want could happen. But as with most mortals, uh, if they were to snap, it would likely cost them their lives. If I were to offer you the infinity gauntlet, one, would you take it? And two, if you did and you snapped, what would happen after the snap? Ooh, what are you willing to trade your so life for? Um, oh, man. I know this is supposed to be rapid fire, but like I want to have something. It's a big one. 
It's yeah, I'm gonna have take, something insightful. Take your here. time on it. Okay, I, I would definitely take it. I, I'm I'm someone who, uh, just to the core of my being, I love helping people, and and, and I'm a people pleaser. I'm I'm more than happy to put myself out uh, to make someone else, you know, to give them some kind of benefit. So I would definitely take it. Um, trying to think of the benefit that I, that I could bring. I, uh, boy, I, I, it has to be something with health. I, I think I would, I would say, you know, um, if I snapped, we would all have a device that synced to our cell phones, uh, that's in our bloodstream, in our bodies that would constantly give you reads on what your body needs, what, what you, uh, what you have too much of, what you need to do. And I, I think if we all had that, uh, general practitioner doctors would go away, but we'd still need specialists. And uh, I, I think we'd all be a happier society being healthy. Okay, got it. Well, this, uh, this has been 10 questions with AJ Wilcox. I have been Jeff Gibbard. This has been Think Fast, but it's also been shareable. Wait, don't leave. If you've never listened to my fancy outro, do it just once for me, please. Okay, if you enjoy Shareable and you find it valuable, there's a few ways that you can support the show. One, you can share it on social media, which I strongly encourage. I mean, it's literally the name of the show, Shareable. Two, you can review it on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. And if you're an Overcast user, as many of my listeners are, make sure to click that star button on the episodes that you like. The third way that you can support the show is by blogging about it or discussing it on your own podcast or even by making a YouTube video where you talk about one of the episodes. And then the final way that you can support the show is by supporting it directly on Patreon. You can find the link in the show notes. Now, before I let you go, I want to tell you about one other thing. You see, Shareable is just one of many projects that I'm working on at any given time. I've got another podcast called Rogue. I do a live streaming show every week called The Heroic Council. I've got a blog where I release a blog post twice a week. And if you're looking to keep up with all sorts of different content that can help you grow and become a superhero in life, I want you to check out jeffgibber.me. That's where I list all of my current projects and projects that are coming up in the future, including my forthcoming book, The Lovable Leader. It would mean a lot to me if you could go and check out some of the other things I've worked on because I put just as much of my heart into those projects as I do into Shareable. Thank you so much for being a listener. Thank you for being a supporter. And I hope to see you here on the next episode of Shareable.